Good afternoon. Man, there is a lot of breaking news. As you guys know, today is the eclipse. Um, in, your, in the USA, um, it says that the eclipse begins in Oregon at 9.13 this morning. Pacific Standard Time. It ends in Texas. So if, you're in the, if you're in my state, in the Texas, it's uh, 12.03 p.m. So, um, yeah, I guess it's over. There are some cities and national parks inside the path of the annual eclipse. During, uh, duration is 4 minutes, 29 seconds. So, um, the ring of fire. With all this going on, and in the stars, with the child being born, and all this happening with Israel. I feel like, guys, with everything in me, I feel like we are, we're just literally on the millisecond of going home. I mean, just, everything's just strange in the world. You know, don't, when you walk out, don't, don't feel everything strange. And God sees everybody's heart. And like I say in all my videos, if you're in the Middle East, you're, you're in my prayers. And you're with Israeli people, you're in my prayers. God sees everybody's heart, <clears throat> the ones that truly want to live for Christ. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. Past, present, future. Just not give us a green light to sin. We don't want to sin. We live for Christ. God loves us so much. He sent his son as a sacrifice for our sins. You know why Christianity is the most hated religion? Satan knows Jesus is the way. Nobody comes to the Father except through Jesus. Through Jesus, We're going to go home any second. So we're all meeting at the marriage supper. So hold on to that crown. Don't let it go. Put on the full armor of God. Our time's very short. <coughs> all hell's about to break loose, guys. We could go home any second. When people say Israel and Palestine, have always, they've always fought. Yes, but not like this. War News 247 is reporting the U.S. goes to war. We've already kind of known they would. USAF ordered to bomb Hezbollah in Iranian militias. Israeli hastily develops iron beam laser systems. Americans and Germans leave Israel. Israeli ground operation begins tonight. Rapid developments were triggered by the threats of the Iranian foreign minister as the U.S. Army, according to what is reported by Israeli media, undertakes to neutralize Hezbollah and Iranian families. So the U.S. is now there. If that happens, it won't be long before Iran enters the war. And sounding familiar? According to major Israeli media reports, U.S. defense officials have assured the Israeli government that U.S. warships in the eastern Mediterranean will enter the war and shoot down missiles fired by Hezbollah in Lebanon. Meanwhile, U.S. forces across the Middle East will target a number of pro-Iranian groups in Syria and Iraq if this escalates into a regional conflict. Of course, this will cause massive attacks on U.S. bases in Syria, Iraq, by Shiite forces. All U.S. air bases in the Middle East are on high alert, which Warner 247 has revealed have been reinforced with F-15 and A-10 squadrons. A USAF Boeing RC-135V rivet joint aircraft was recently spotted flying off the Mediterranean Sea near the coast of the Gaza Strip. <coughs> Excuse me. The fear of Hezbollah's involvement in the war is widespread in Israel. For this reason, the Israeli army is developing for the first time the iron beam laser defense system in order to strengthen air defense throughout the country. The iron beam system, well, what it is is it will act as a short-range air defense system of Israel's integrated missile defense system and shoot down incoming missiles, drones, artillery shells, and mortars. Apple of God's eye. Nothing will happen to Israel. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> the system, according to the Israelis, is not even ready. It was supposed to enter service in a few years. Anybody that tries to go after Israel, God will get, he'll get them. 
But it seems that the Israeli army is throwing all weapon systems into battle, even the prototypes, for fear of a general war. The IDF spokesman confirmed what Warner 247 reported yesterday. The military is ready to strike anywhere in the Middle East if necessary. The U.S. stands by Israel. I got videos here. I haven't seen them yet. I usually read the reports along with you guys. Um, and then um, Americans and Germans leave. A while ago, the U.S. approved the, de the Department of Non-Emergency Personnel from the embassy in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv due to the unpredictable security situation in Israel. Yeah, I wonder if Germany's charging their citizens. <laughs> that was the video I made yesterday. Their families also leave with them. At the same time, the Germans are also leaving. The German Air Force Luftwaffe, L-U-F-T-W-A-F-F-E, wait, wait, is finally starting to evacuate civilians from Israel. Two German transport planes are heading to Israel to pick up German citizens. At the same time, Germany is putting the 26th Airborne Brigade power full paratrooper units the 36, this is a world war, guys, for real. The 36 Combat Helicopter uh, Regiment and the Luftwaffe, Wolf, Luftwolf, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making light of this by, by laughing, but the, these names just, uh, um, on high alert, possible additional military evacuation processes. Hamas releases a video addresses addressed uh, to the Israeli military titled, This is what awaits you. When you enter Gaza, and uh, I've been, I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I have that. I don't know if you can watch the video. I don't want to click it because, um, like, I'm reading this along with you guys, and sometimes if there's, if I click like a link where there's talking, it'll stop the recording because I'm using my phone to. <clears throat> I don't know. It's it's in German or I don't know. The Israeli ground operation begins tonight. Which it's already evening hours, I believe. There was so. earlier the IDF spokesman so spokesman warned Hezbollah, saying that quote Israel has gathered huge military forces on the Lebanese front. Anyone who approaches the border will die. End quote. Israelis Channel Twelve report reported that the ground invasion of Gaza will begin tonight. So this is going to be a big night uh, for for news. And again, if you're in that part of the world, you might, my thoughts and prayers go out to you. God bless you. The IDF complete, completes preparations for the invasion of Gaza. Forces await the order to enter. Prime Minister Netanyahu met with defense chiefs at the headquarters in Tel Aviv for final decisions. The IDF confirmed that it is finalizing preparations for a major ground operation in Gaza and is ready to expand the offensive by implementing a wide range of offensive operational plans through a joint and coordinated attack by air, sea, and land. Oh, wow. We are preparing for a large-scale operation in Gaza, says the army. Quote, they got videos here. <clears throat> Quote, Israeli army battalions and soldiers are being deployed across the country and are ready for the next stages of the war with an emphasis on a major ground operation, the statement said. Israeli forces massed around the Palestinian enclave are preparing for the next phase of operations. Army spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Kenrickus said earlier. Oh boy, this is not de-escalating. In fact, it is escalating. Now that we're getting involved, Iran's going to get involved. Russia's going to get involved. I believe the Bible has warned of this, hasn't it? Hasn't? I think the Bible talks about this. That's what, this is what makes our time different. Keep looking up, family. I've been saying for months, and I could be wrong because we don't know the day or time. We don't know the hour. Only God knows. Not even not even our Savior, but only the Father. There's a good chance we could be raptured this year. Very good chance. But whenever the rapture is, and wherever you stand the rapture, don't let go of the Lord's hand. But there is a preacher of rapture. We don't meet the Lord in the air, grab a horse, and come back down. When's the marriage supper? That... The Holy Spirit will guide you, strengthen you, encourage you. He's your best friend. He's my best friend. He's my king. He's my savior. Guys, isn't this exciting? I'm so excited.
I mean, very soon, we're going to be face to face with Jesus. Any family members that you've um, been passed on in Christ, you're going to be seeing them. I'm going to be seeing my father again, my grandmother, our pets. And we're all meeting at the marriage supper. So I'll visit y'all's man. I'll visit y'all at your mansions. Man, I mean, we always knew what would happen during the end times and, you know, the rapture and everything. But did you guys ever think that you'd be around to witness what's happening? These are very high watch days. So keep your eyes on the sky unless you're driving. <laughs> and uh, hang in there. I know things are tough in life, but we're going home. We're not going to be here much. We're in the last seconds, for real. We're in the last seconds. I can assure you that. I mean, I don't know when the rapture is, and if anybody tells you, oh, it's going to be, don't listen. Nobody knows, only God. But we will see that day approaching. And I believe that day is just about here. You guys ever wonder what you're going to do? I mean, do you guys ever wonder where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing when the rapture happens? <laughs> With me, I'll probably be delivering for Uber. I mean, could you imagine I'm bringing somebody their food and I just disappear? Wow. So, keep looking up, family, and keep listening. I'll leave the link in the description box. And um, I love you guys. I can't wait to meet you. You guys mean so much to me. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for all. I think my daughter needs help in there. Thank you for all your prayers. Um, thank you for all your help. God bless you. And you're in my prayers. Anybody that has lost family members, I'm praying for you and your family. Sick family members. Um, just everything down the board. Oh, I'm praying for you guys. God bless you and I'll talk to you soon.